What's up guys, Mark A. Macy from Norman's Rare Guitars again. Uh, getting back on the back room here. Uh, I thought I'd show you some of the Fender bases that we've got today. Um, starting with this guy here. This would probably be the earliest, wrong case obviously, but one of the earlier Fender P's that I've got. This is a 52 slab body P bass, the original style um, that we just got. Very, very cool bass. Good condition on this one. I've also got a 53 that looks similar, a little bit more hammer. This one's in a little better shape. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the earliest style P-Bass um, until you get into the uh, split pickup P-Basses, which would be more like this. This is a nice example here. This is a 1958 uh, gold anodized guard P-Bass here. <laughs> Again, very, very excellent condition. Um, this is kind of, you know, Norm was a bass player as well as an organ player, so the basses were kind of his thing that he always tried to collect a lot of these early gold guard basses. I've also got, um, man, I've got a bunch of these right now. I've got a few more here that are in the original like Fender gig bags, but uh, you know, there's no shortage of gold guard peas back here right now. I've also got a couple custom color ones that I'll show in a little bit, but um, here's just another really, really nice, really clean. This is probably a 58 or 59, 58, another very clean 58 gold guard P. Um, let me show you a couple of the other cooler things that I've got here. Um, sticking with the gold guard P's, here's a custom color. Now, custom colors on 50s um, Fender guitars and basses are incredibly rare. This is probably one of Norm's favorite in the whole collection. This is a 1959 see-through blonde um, gold guard P with the uh, original hang tags, original case. This one is in his book. Um, this is one of the cleanest custom color uh, 50s bases you'll ever see. This is kind of his pride and joy of the whole base collection here. I've also got another one that is, uh, interestingly enough, uh, th this one here. This one Norm got um, from the bassist uh, that played with Jimmy Bryant. Um, I see. This is the one. Yeah, this one is kind of cool. This one's Olympic white with a gold guard, uh, Olympic white over sunburst. What's really insane about this bass um, is it's got a matching headstock on it as well. Um, normally, you don't see matching headstocks until the early part of the 60s. And normally, you only see them on jazz basses. Here's a 50s custom color P bass with a matching headstock. Go find another one of those. Um, getting out of P basses, going into jazz basses. This is the earliest example jazz bass I've got here. This is one of the most collectible basses of all times. This is a 1961 stack knob jazz bass. Um, condition is uh, a little more worn on this one, but these ones are some of the most sought after with the stack knob, uh, the concentric knobs here instead of the three knob tone control down here. Um, slab board, clay dots. This is one of the ones that the collectors really go crazy for. Um, let me see. Once you get out of the stack knobs, you go into the three knobs. I've got a couple of cool custom color jazzes right now. This stuff comes flying everywhere. This is one of the cooler ones that I've got. This is a 1963 jazz bass Olympic white with matching headstock. Um, excellent, excellent condition for a pre-CBS custom color. A little bit of nicotine yellow around the sides here, but really no nicks or dings. Um, original clay dots on the board, everything is still here. I've got a 65 that looks very similar to this as well. Um, i trying to think if I've got any other cool. This is cool. Um, another cool custom color. Now this is a CBS base. This is not pre-CBS. Uh, this is a 1966 Jazz in factory black, um, kind of like Ronnie Blair's from uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Black is one of the crazier of the custom colors. Um, we shy away from it a lot because it's one of the easiest colors to refinish without being able to tell, but this is one that Norm's had in the collection for a very long time. This one's also in the book. This one's 100% authentic factory black uh, with matching headstock, original case, and all that. So that's just some of the bases. I didn't show you everything. I've got some other custom colors and mid-60s L-series bases and stuff back here. This is just some of the cooler stuff just to show you some of the stuff that we're sitting on back here. Keep tuning in. We're making our way through uh, 
I'm not sure what we'll do next. Maybe we'll start busting out some acoustics back here. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Cheers.